Eric, and uh, thank you so much for having me today. Hi, Shifuchi. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. No, please. It's a pleasure. Oh, you too. Thank you. So what's the secret to throwing a fun and festive Cinco de Mayo party? You know, uh, I have up here a great menu with tips and recipes so you can really uh, get out from the kitchen and join your, you know, your guests uh, and really have fun. So let's start with a cocktail. I have here a great cocktail. These are the Bad Light Lime Ritas. They're so good and they're so easy to prepare. You just need to pop pour and enjoy the Rita's over ice for a really and delicious margarita experience. And something really cool, what you can do, you can make your unique cocktail combination with these four great ingredients that I have here. Uh, the lime Rita, the strawberry Rita, the raspberry Rita, and the mango Rita. They're so good, all of them. And so you can play, you know, and you can have your unique cocktail. Uh, for recipes, you can go to facebook.com slash badlight lime Rita's. Uh, so let's move on. Then I have here uh, a great appetite uh, for for me you know for an easy appetizer to wow your guests but at the same time i wanted to keep it simple so um i have here a, a avocado mango salsa it's super easy to prepare you just need to dice the onion the mango you know you're gonna mince the jalapeno and the cilantro and you're gonna uh prepare meanwhile uh, a lime vinaigrette and you, you, and that's it, you know, uh, and for the main course, I thought about something uh, as simple as a taco bar, but, you know, something unique, cool, different. And uh, so I came up with the idea of tostadas party because I really like tostadas. Uh, so for that, you have to, you know, you're going to fry the, um, the tortillas uh, ahead of time. Or you can, you know, bake them, you know, we, we are so close to summer, like, uh, so, you know, maybe there are some that are worried about, you know, that. So you can bake or you can fry whatever you want, and it's going to taste great. Uh, and um, another thing that you have to do in advance, you're going to set up, you know, top, a toppings bar with different ingredients. You can have the traditional ones, you know, like pico de gallo, guacamole, uh, black bean dip, uh, whatever you want. And then maybe you can have, you know, a little more exotic flavors. I don't know. I have I like to have cabbage, for example, because it gives a great color to the dishes, you know. And for me, the great idea of the uh, tostadas party is that people, you know, your guests are going to serve themselves. So, you know, you're going to be able really to join them and to have fun. And so I thought it was a cool idea. Uh, Everything sounds delicious. Uh, thank you. And the last part, but not least, uh, dessert, you know. So for dessert, I came up with the idea of paletas. Uh, paletas is a Mexican ice pop. I really like it because, you know, also, again, it's refreshing, it's light, so goes super well with the whole, you know, the whole menu. And it's also because, you know, it's something that is ready to serve, so give yourself a break, have fun, you know. So I, I really love the idea of this uh, dessert. And so I think, you know, for me, no matter what route of food you're going to choose, for me, in cin on Cinco de Mayo, the most important thing is, you know, to get in really, to get together with the friends and family and really celebrate that, you know, have fun with them. And so maybe this is your new favorite party tradition. So I don't know if you like the menu, but I think it's great. No, everything sounds delicious. What would be your favorite paleta flavor? Uh, you know, I like, the, I, what I love of paletas is that you can, you know, really, you can be very creative because, you know, it's something you can play with so many ingredients. This time I have done uh, pineapple, uh, pineapple uh, coconut uh, flavor, but I like many, really, honestly. I like so many flavors. I like uh, passion fruit. I like mango. I like many, really. I, I, I love fruit, so, and I love to play with all of them. And do you have any additional tips or information you'd like to share with us? Yeah, sure. If you want also, you can uh, you can go to my site. It's www.latinfoodlovers.com. I'm going to download there many, many recipes uh, for the Cinco de Mayo. So you're going to be able to 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 have, you know, you're, you're going to be able to have more recipes. Uh, so, yeah, so that's the I hope that you can, you know, go to my site. I will right now. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Chef Uche. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me today. Thank you. Anytime. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.